Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about some new leaks as in regards to some new photos and some details from Canada Graph, so all rights go to them. You can check out their blog post in the description below. That's got a load more photos. Also, there is more information that I'm not going to be covering in this video on the blog, so go check it out. That will be in the description below. Also, follow Canada Graphs on Twitter because they regularly post lots of interesting spoilers from behind the scenes. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, we're going to be talking about these photos. And so these photos, again, it's from Canada Graphs. So I'm going to be showing a bunch of them, but there are more on the site if you want to see them. But this first photo right here, you can see this new person. This person's in a costume. And we don't know who it is. However, there is a sign on the wall, like where, you know, the actors have their trailers and stuff like that. There is the normal ones with, you know, John Jones, Lena Luther, Cara Danvers, and so on and so forth. And there is a new one saying Mallory. And we don't know anyone called Mallory, so it's a new character. There is two ideas going through my head. Number one, it's just the villain of the week, and this new villain just happens to be called Mallory. Or, it is that rumoured new owner of Catco, and we know in the comics, and her name is actually Andrea Rojas, aka Akrata in the comics. I think that's how you say it, I don't know exactly. But she actually is a superhero, eventually, in the comics. So. What happens if that rumoured person who is supposedly going to be coming to the show, that being Andrea, what happens if that is actually her in her superhero costume? Because, again, it's just rumours, but this is a person in a costume. She's got a stunt double right next to her, so it's something of big importance in regards to action. So, is it that person? Is it Andrea? Or could it be just the villain of the week? But, I think this suit looks kind of superior, it doesn't really look villainous, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this, and looking forward to seeing who exactly she is, but it seems like she is called Mallory on the show, and her suit's very cool, you can see, I think it's going to have some special effects on it, you can see it sort of looks like it's maybe been on fire, and some of the costume looks like it's been torn apart and ripped apart, so is that part of her powers, is it to do with fire, or anything like that, but yeah, so looking forward to that. And so she, if she does turn out to be Andrea Rojas, who is actually called Mallory in the show, she would be a new owner of Catco and also a superhero on the side. So go check out that information. You can see that on supergirl.tv. That's where I found that. So yeah. So we got a couple more photos of her going through there in the background. You can see Nia now. You can see everyone else just sort of talking and, you know, it's behind the scenes photos really, but... They are sort of setting up for a shot, and there's just a bunch of photos over there that you will see on Canada Graphs' page. And so the next photo, we see Melissa Benoist as Kara, and you can properly see her hair. So this is, you know, the definitive hairstyle for the season. And season to season, it's pretty much been the same, but this is a big change, and I have to say, I'm a fan of it. I think it looks really good. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I think I would like to go back to the normal hairstyle because I'm just so used to it and I'm sure half of you guys will be like, ooh, I don't know about that. It's completely different from a normal hairstyle. But the only thing that's really different is obviously her hair is a bit shorter and she has the bangs and she just doesn't have, you know, her normal kind of more floaty kind of flicky hair that curls up. But... Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a big fan of this, but it seems like this was shooting in between takes, and she's obviously got her phone, she's got a script on her, but she's covering herself up, and I don't know why she would be covering herself up, maybe it's just to walk in public, I'm not sure as to exactly why she's doing it. She doesn't look like she's in a new suit or anything, so I don't think she has a reason. So I know in the winter, the actors between takes, they actually put on coats and stuff like that, so... I'm not sure, but I feel like it is just to move around and not be in a superhero costume and be exposed all the time. So, yeah, I don't think she's actually hiding anything. I don't think there's, like, a new suit underneath there. It's got the same colours, the blue underneath, and then the red boots and everything like that. She's, you know, in her Supergirl look. 
so I don't think she's hiding a new suit or anything but yeah so that is between takes that is her behind the scenes obviously she's not filming with this on or anything like that okay so moving on to the next photo another behind the scenes look you see Nia now obviously fully in costume Nicole Maines and you have Lena Luther as well and so Katie and Nicole are just going to the shop they actually posted about this on Instagram the other day but yeah this just confirms who's actually in these scenes like I'm not exactly sure as to what they are specifically filming but we'll go over some of the details that Canada Graphs was able to get over on his blog page in just a moment after we've gone through these photos but yeah so they are all there that means that Kara's there Lena's there we got Dreamer and we have we have Kelly Jean we have the new person Mallory we have Alex Danvers, we know that from behind the scenes, and that seems to be about it. I don't think James is actually in this scene, but whatever's going on, it's got most of the cast, so it's something obviously kind of big, and, you know, Nicole's in her costume, Supergirl is obviously Supergirl, Melissa is Supergirl in her costume as well, so it seems like some sort of superhero action is going on. Okay, so moving on to the last photo, and this is just of Nicole Maines as dreamer and her suits very much so exactly the same and yeah i just wanted to include this very excited about what's to come in this episode this is obviously episode one we don't have an official title as of right now but let's move on to talk about what canada graphs wrote on his blog okay so all of the filming on the first day and most of the second day was inside the orpheum theater so this is in vancouver the only exterior was a walk-in scene with background actors at the end of the second day of filming there. The building is well known in Vancouver and has been used by most shows out there at some point. Early on the first day, I saw some of the stunts team standing around outside waiting to film. At different points there, I saw the doubles for Melissa, Nicole, Kyla, Jesse, and a new girl that I do not know yet who is most likely Mallory. During the lull that came with the morning shooting, he went for a walk, that being Canada Graphs, and found the circus for the set. There was a lot of cast trailers there and were prepped for work that day. As you can see from the photos that we just showed you, I, he saw the trailers of several members of the cast but could not see all of those because of the angles they were packed at. I found it a bit odd that Nia now has a tape marker on her trailer but Kelly Olsen already has a fully printed plate on her door. Back at the set, he managed to run into David Howard and Jesse Raff as they left for their lunch break. Later in the afternoon, he saw Melissa Benoist go into set in her Supergirl wardrobe but she was hiding it under some sort of sweater or blanket. Yeah, so she was obviously coming back probably from eating something or you know going to a shop. So in the evening he saw Katie McGrath and Nicole Maines head out to get some burgers. So that's the photos we showed you prior to that. And so little was known about what was actually going on inside the theatre, what they were filming. All anyone can really confirm is what cast members were there besides the ones that were mentioned in this article Kyla Lee and Azzy Tesfe were the only other cast members known to be there but he couldn't get photos of and he didn't get to interact with them at any points in the shoot so let's go back and talk about a little bit to do with some of the different pieces of information so they don't know exactly what's going on inside this hall but there is definitely stunt people who were there so that means that there is an action scene going on inside this hall. We have all the characters. We have Supergirl all dressed up. We have Nia now all dressed up. And we have that new girl, Mallory, it seems like, who is in a superhero costume or a supervillain costume. She's got a stunt double next to her wearing the same thing. So it seems like there is some sort of massive battle going on inside there. So a big fight. And somehow all the other characters who are obviously non-superhero like Kelly Olsen and Lena Luthor are actually there. So is it some sort of event that's happening prior to that? Prior to them actually being called in and Supergirl becoming Supergirl obviously and you know Neo now becoming Dreamer. Is it a normal event? Is that why all the super friends are there? And then you know we find out that there is some sort of need for them to actually be all superhero like so thank you guys so much for watching that has been it for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications to not miss any videos 
later in the summer. And so I will be at Comic Con next week, so if you are going, please be sure to say hi. If you live in LA or San Diego, just let me know in the comments or on Twitter or on Instagram. I check them all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye.